guys, this is Rachel Zhou, and welcome to Tech Please. Technology, a superhero or a supervillain? Recently, I found some really unexpected and shocking videos online, and I can't wait to share them with my friends. We just want to predict your future behaviors. Manipulating people online for money. This video is fake. It's AI made. It's actually not these three people. Oh. Ah. Can't see. Can't see. 哎呦，那感觉这还挺震惊的。那这个就缺乏真实性了。This is called AI deepfake technology. It seems so real that the former U.S. President Obama warned people about this before. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address. But someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. I guess that is your reaction. What? Why? How? I mean, it's like the high-end Photoshop invading to the video territory. It takes a crowbar and puts Tanya Harding on our firm sense of safety on seeing is believing. You just want to shout it out. How can you play like this? Let's start with what. What is deepfake? Well, Jaquan from the famous TV series Game of Thrones gives out an answer that couldn't be better. A man of many faces. Anyone could be anybody. In fact, face-changing technology is not news in film industry. The most famous case is Fast and Furious Seven. With 350 CGI shots, it brought Paul Walker back and be revived in the film once again. It took 3.2 million U.S. dollars of two minutes of shots. Let's fast forward to seven years later, present day. That money can be totally saved because deepfake became the game changer. With a GPU and some training data, it can be done with much lower cost and technological difficulties. Thanks to a good fellow, literally, because he's a PhD student named Ian J. Goodfellow. He invented the GAN, and we call him the father of GAN, generative. Adversarial networks, the core tag of deepfake. It has two neural networks, the discriminator and the generator. Don't fear and go away because of those frightening terms. Actually, it is a really fun combating game. Let me put it this way: these two AI models, they're like a spear and a shield. We put them to fight against each other. I'll give you an example. If you give a generator lots of photos of your kitten, it will generate a new kitten photo. But if you give a discriminator your neighbor's kitten's photo, it will tell you that this is not your cat. You can see both of them as black boxes. You give them some inputs to their algorithms, and then they will give you back some outputs. But the differences are: if you give a generator some samples. They will give you back a seemingly real picture and a video, but if you give a discriminator some inputs, they'll tell its authenticity, whether it's true or false. If it is a fake, you'll become the Gandalf in the Lord of the Rings. You shall not pass. Again, lower the cost of face-changing technology. Everyone can use it, but not everyone. We use it without malice. A 30 second of poor video of a famous Hollywood star Emma Watson gained 20 million clicks online. Such victims include the most famous female celebrities: Gal Gadot, Emma Watson, Taylor Swift, and Natalie Portman. You name them. Maybe you think it is still far away from invading your rights, but let me put it in this way. There's so many apps, and they're so easy to get. The more raw material a person has, the more accurate the AI simulation will be. Imagine how many videos and photos you have posted on public social media platforms. According to Sensity, a website, 96% of the deepfake videos are pornographic, and most of the face owners were unaware of it. 
What if the victim is you? If porn is entertainment, then the next thing you know may make you shock. This is a video gains 250,000 views online. Zelensky himself tweeted to refute the rumors. Deepfake technology can also manipulate the U.S. election. Donald Trump once retweeted a video of Biden sticking out of his tongue. At the time, this video was played 10 million views one night. What scares me the most is that the credibility of the real information will be greatly reduced. 80% of the information we get are from visuals. But what if saying is not believing? A trust crisis will explode and people will open a Pandora's box that has never been opened. Luckily, some research to resist this attack is underway. Put the fake in a cage and put it to good use. Many countries and major companies are acting on it. Okay, so that's it for today. This is Rachel from Tech Please. I'll see you next time. Bye.